Alright guys, so ghetto baby mama has gone viral for trashing her baby daddy because her baby daddy refused to feed her other kids that are not his. Um, she has responded to all the backlash that she's been getting on the internet. Everybody's been talking about this because um, she is basically a stereotype of a lot of women in some of these low income uh, communities uh, that have an entitlement mentality. Look, y'all, every day my baby daddy come here with one meal for my child, but I have three other kids. We have one kid together, but he only want to come and bring one thing to McDonald's. But what about my other kids? How come you can't feed my other kids from McDonald's though? Like that's bogus as hell. Like you're not going to sit here and make my other kids feel left out. And you're only bringing one child something to eat. Look, there he go. And I bet you he only got one thing in there. Because I'm exposing you guys. Everybody think you're such a motherfucking good daddy. You no, you're not. No, you're not. You're full of shit in this bullshit. You only come here with one piece of food for one child the child that's mine silly no that's dumb that you can't feed the other kids don't feed nobody at all then he can't take that he can't eat it maybe if you had one or two i can like you know maybe you got it's four it's three extra kids what the do i like going to my mother account spending money on those all those kids them stuff them not my kids them are your kids siblings though no you know what fine give it here thank you give it here give it here give it here Duck, he ain't eating this. Fuck you. Because you ain't bringing up for all the other kids. You stupid, stupid, selfish as a like you're dumb as hell. You're dumb as hell. He's not finna eat that. It's becoming a, a, a kind of a really big thing on the internet, and uh, it seems like she's embracing the drama, right? So much so that uh, instead of going away, right, which she should, right, she should go away, uh, take the advice that people are giving her. Instead, she's actually doubling down on the idea that she is right right that her baby daddy who's not the father of her other kids should be feeding her other kids and he's not a good father if he's not feeding her other kids because that is his child's sibling right so uh i want to go ahead and play her response to uh the backlash she's been getting on the internet and go from there my kids have to go through a transition of our breakup as well like yeah me and you broke up but my kids gotta feel it too so now my kids have to see only one of their siblings get mcdonald's and not the rest of them and they know it's coming from you because of course like me and you used to be together they used to see you you used to do it for them but yeah yeah but see here's the problem with that you were in a relationship, right? You were in a relationship, okay? When you're in a relationship, yes, you know, he's in the house, he's taking care of you, he's taking care of the family, okay? That makes sense. But once you break up and you're done with the relationship, um, at that point, he's not obligated to take care of kids that are not his, okay? Uh, whether or not he chooses to go through a so-called transition period, that's on him, okay? But at some point, that transition period has... To end, and I don't think this woman would ever want the so-called transition period to end. Okay, she would want it to end. Okay, I think no matter what this baby daddy would have done, uh, she would have always been mad at him for not feeding the rest of her kids because she felt like she's entitled to him feeding kids that are not his simply because they were in a relationship, right? And uh, she has to understand that that's just simply not the, the case, right? You had the four kids. It is your responsibility to feed them mainly because they're under your custody. This good father, right, is feeding his child, right? He's feeding his child. Uh, all this energy that she's taking towards him, uh, she really needs to put towards the other uh, fathers of her kids. I'm pretty sure it's probably multiple. Uh, but the reason why is because he's probably the best uh, baby daddy that she has, right? All the rest of them are bums. So she knows she's not getting anything out of them. Uh, so that's why she takes out all her anger on, on the good father, right? Which again, is a very unfortunate situation for this guy. Now you don't want to do that for them anymore. Like to me, that's petty. That's petty. Like it's not fair. Like you're not going to give 
one child McDonald's and not all the other kids McDonald's. Like, I'm not going. And then on top of that, you mean to tell me you can dib and dab and want to do it sometimes, but yet you can't feed all my other kids McDonald's, though? Are you a prostitute? <laughs> right? Are you a prostitute? Because that's what it sounds like to me. Just because y'all sleeping together, that doesn't necessarily mean that he has to feed your other kids because you occasionally <laughs> sleep together. Because he's occasionally clapping your cheeks, right? That, that's not how this works unless you're selling your cheeks, right? And if you're selling your cheeks, then you're a prostitute, right? Um, I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. Um, look, you know, um, you're not officially in a relationship. I don't see why this person should be demanded to do this. Furthermore, uh, this lady in the prior video told us that she was on food stamps, right? Uh, and that she can't feed her kids until she gets her food stamps. However, as you can see in this video, uh, this woman uh, has a whole lot of makeup on. She got nice weave. She got nails done. So apparently she has money to look nice, right? To make herself look better. But she doesn't have money to feed her children, right? So much so to the point where, again, she's trashing her good baby daddy for feeding his kid and not feeding her other kids. Because, you know, she doesn't get her food stamps to a certain time of the month. Um, again, th this is the reality of what goes on in a lot of s these low-income neighborhoods, guys. I mean, this is just, this isn't, you know, oh, you know, oppression or whatever. This is people who simply don't want to be held accountable for anything. They are mismanaging their money financially, okay? This woman gets an assortment of benefits from the government. She's been taken care of not just by her baby daddies, right, uh, but also from the government, and she still wants more. Right. And she's acting like she's not getting enough while at the same time having enough money, expendable income to get nice weave and to, you know, get makeup done, get her nails done for her to look good. Right. Basically for her to basically find another baby daddy. Right. Uh, to take care of her. But she has enough money to do that. But she doesn't have enough money to meet, feed her kids. But again, progressives will tell you that, oh, these people, they need more. They need more help. They need more help. And it's like, no, they don't need more help. Right. What they need is to be held accountable. They need to use the money that they have responsibly. OK. And not spend it on stupid things like getting your nails done and stuff like that. If you have kids that you got to feed. Right. If your kids are starving, uh, I don't think you should have money to be getting your nails done. I'm just saying that's the problem. A lot of these people are poor, not because they don't have enough help. They're poor because uh, they simply lack personal and financial responsibility and accountability to dig themselves out of their socioeconomic situations. But again, the left, they don't want to have a conversation about that because again, that requires accountability. Nobody wants to have a conversation about that. Okay. But again, this woman right here is showing us, uh, this is what ghetto fabulous is, right? This is ghetto fabulous. That's what you mean to tell me? Like, I'm not going for that. I'm going to stand on what I said. And I don't care what everybody else have to say about it. Y'all could judge me. Oh, well, I could be the villain. But I said what I said. Like, if you can't bring everybody McDonald's, then can't nobody have McDonald's then. Period. So you're going to let your child starve, right? You're going to let one of your kids starve because the baby daddy, right, is not feeding other kids that are not his again the logic here really blows my mind this is absolutely insane this is insane okay um and uh she got trashed in the comment section of this tiktok that she posted rightfully so okay and she's honestly probably making money off all this stuff but you know it is what it is uh so let's read some of the comments here she really thought this video would make us think differently exactly you got four kids he has one is this a comment defending her why didn't he take just take his son to get something to eat? Like, that seems like it would make the most sense for both parties. Nah, he ain't got to do that. I mean, he can. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe the guy's working. Maybe he got a job. <laughs> Unlike this woman right here. She probably does not have a job, right? Maybe he got a job. Uh, he tried to take his son to car to eat, but she wouldn't let him. Yeah, she obviously is not going to let him do that, right? Because she wants all her other kids fed, right? Um, she's upset with the fact that He's not feeding all her kids. So even if this guy would have said, hey, well, I'll take my son to the car to eat and, and that's it. And he won't eat in front of his siblings. That would not have been good enough for her. Right. It still would have been an issue. <laughs> Can he claim all the kids on taxes? No, ma'am, you're wrong. Let that hurt go. You have four kids. Y'all not together no more. 
those are your kids, not his. Do the other daddies bring his child food to, to I'm just asking. That's actually a great question. <laughs> Do the other baby daddies bring his child food? That's a great question. <laughs> Call day <they> daddies. <laughs> Give that man full custody. Facts. Give him full custody. He should get full custody just off the fact that she recorded a video of her throwing away uh, her child food. Okay? That 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 is enough to, I feel like she she's not a responsible parent. Um, nobody had to make you the villain. You just did that. You did that just fine on your own. Those aren't his kids, regardless. Call their daddy. Not his kids, gang. <laughs> Hair done, eyelashes done, kids hungry to math, not mathing. Yeah, facts. That's exactly what I'm saying. Crazy how you're mad at him for providing for his kid, but not mad at the other daddies for not providing for their kids. Facts. Facts. What day is your stamps? The 7th or the 11th? Because you said different dates. <laughs> Hair done, nails done, lashes done. Ma'am, we still feel the same. You sound like a career baby mama. That's exactly what she is. And it's a shame that, again, we live in a society where you can do this, right? Where you can have four, five, six kids by all these different men, and you can afford to get your hair done, your weave done, your eyelashes done, your makeup done, um, and, and live off the government, right? And live off all these men, okay? Again, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, Kevin Samuels would have had a field day. This would have been gold for him. This would have been gold. I am happy to see people in the comment section not uh, supporting this uh, buffoonery, right? Not supporting these shenanigans, okay? Because this is absolutely insane, right? That she is doubling down on the idea that this man is responsible for feeding kids that are not his. Um, the moral of this story, uh, fellas, be careful who you knock up, okay? You got to vet some of these women heavily, especially the ones with kids, right? Multiple kids by multiple baby daddies. You got to vet them heavily, man. I'm not saying that you can't date them at all or that you can't marry them all. I'm just saying you got to vet them heavily. But just me personally, I would avoid at all costs, right? There's a reason why they have all that baggage. There's a reason. But hey, what do I know? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.